Skylar, we're back. And we are at episode what? Episode 72. Fantastic. Hi, friends. Hi, Facebook Live. We're back, episode 72. Kind of back, sort of back. Wow, that was wow. Same thing, same thing with the drop. Um, it's nice to see you today. It's nice to be here on uh, what's a beautiful, sunny, um, I almost said Sunday, Friday, Friday <laughs> in Tennessee. Um, so this looks like the old Randy's Live set, right? And this will be a kind of, sort of, uh, Randy's Live show. It'll be a little bit different and it's going to be a little bit shorter. Um, if you are just tuning in with us for the first time, hey, this is a little show we do from our house. It's a three-person crew. It's my husband, Andrew, on camera. Bing. It's my daughter, Skylar Faith, on um, hospitality, <laughs> stage managing the whole thing, and my audience of one. But um, really, we started this um, many weeks ago. We started this as a way to sort of build community, as a way to um, reach out to everybody and let them sort of know that we were thinking about them during this time of um, social isolation. Um, and so what we did was we decided to come on live, and we just kept going and going and going and going, and we did 70 straight episodes. It was wonderful to have this community to share information with, to be together with. Um, and we really built this wonderful little tribe. It was beautiful and it meant a lot to our little family. Um, and then um, we had planned to come every week to you and uh, also I was planning to do a concert and we sort of took some time off. Um, we felt that um, it was necessary to do that, to open our hearts and our minds and most importantly our ears and listen. We've been listening, um, we've been um, together in solidarity with our um, friends that are marching with our people that are protesting. Um, we've been with them in spirit and um, it's been um, an incredible, incredible now two weeks. But um, we also wanted to connect with you to let you know that we love you and to let you know that um, we're here. And I'll be honest, like I didn't know today if we were gonna do this or not because I'm not you know, sure about sort of using this space um, to sort of talk about our day and what we're having for dinner because there's a lot of other important things that are going on right now. But I also realized that um, when we started this, we started this as a way to reach out to you and share. And that meant share information about the virus, share um, togetherness, share our sorrows, share our laughter, share really good things that were happening in our family, really awful things that were happening. And we kind of went on this roller coaster with you guys. And so it felt like um, it was appropriate to check in with you and see how you're doing. And it may not be the same night every week, but we promise you that we will be, um, be here. And also, um, in all honesty, June is a super important um, month for us. There's a lot going on in June that means a lot to our little family. Um, there, it's Pride Month. Um, it's a Gun Violence Awareness Month to all of the groups that are um, ending gun violence. Um, also, we have this beautiful Black Lives Matter movement that's happening. Um, today is Loving Day, which if you don't know what that is, you have to look it up. I'm not sure why it's not ta taught more in schools, um, but it's a day that we celebrate um, couples um, uh, being able to legally marry uh, interracially, which is hard to believe that it took, I guess, until 1967 for that to change. Thank you to the courts that made that happen. Um, so there's a lot right now that we have to learn about um, and we have to open our hearts and our minds to. And so, you know me, this has always kind of been our platform and I've been able to check on in with you guys and do this and so that's what we're doing tonight. Um, so we always start with what we did today and we're gonna tell you what we did today. First, let me see who's on. Oh, his son son is on. Hi, Louisa. Hi, Anna. Hi, Tim. Oh, I owe Tim a phone call. I owe you a phone call. Hi, Mary Lou. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Ryan. Yes, the tribe is on. It's great to see you guys. Hi, Joel. <laughs> Hi, Robert. It's nice to see you. So um, so here's what's going to happen. Next week, there are some beautiful virtual events that I have been asked to be a part of. One of them is a streaming event that will happen um, on Thursday that I can't wait to tell you about. It's the Interfaith um, Vigil and Remembrance Evening for the Victims of Gun Violence and um, beautiful, beautiful um, people of many, many different faiths are coming together to have moments of silence and to honor the victims who have lost their lives. And um, I'll be participating in that virtually, so I'll make sure you guys have the invitation if you want to click onto that. It should be moving speakers and really beautiful tribute um, and, and a way to come together in this moment of peace. 
And then also um, next weekend, um, I will also be virtually coming to you, although we will be physically going somewhere to sing for a night of healing music with um, one of my really, really dear friends. But I'm going to wait and tell you about that um, later in the week. We'll kind of dangle that little carrot for you. Um, but when I was asked to do a night of healing music, you know, that's also kind of something that we try to do when we can. And... Um, Oh, we need all of it right now. I promised myself I wasn't going to cry because you don't come on for a fun Friday episode and cry, but that's, I don't know if I can keep that promise. Anyway, we'll tell you a little bit of what we did today. It's a gazillion degrees in Nashville, so there was some pool action. There was some sun action. There was, um, oh, you had your acting class with Kelly. That was wonderful. Did you have a good time doing that? Yeah. She does a virtual acting class with Kelly McGandy from New York City. And she's um, doing a play that focuses a lot on diversity, so we're super excited about that. And she's doing a great job. She's doing some scene work with Kelly McGander, so thank you, Aunt Kelly. Um, and then also, I want to tell you about some of my neighbors. Um, so two really beautiful women, one um, that I have known for a while. We have a, a musical relationship. Her name is uh, Patty, Patty Skoboria, um, I think is how you say her second name. Uh, Clark, maybe? Uh, Patty, she's my Patty. Um, and Rachel Gilmore. They're two moms in this community. And um, they were two moms that were wondering how their children's voices could be heard. And if you've seen my, my post over the past couple of weeks, I've been talking about um, how we sort of talk with our children openly about what's going on um, and have a good, important dialogue. Not just about what's happening, not just about what they might see on the news, but about what we can do to make this world better and how we can be better human beings and how much work we all have to do. Um, and so I was fascinated when I saw that they put up this little poster and it said that they wanted to do a march here in this little town where we live, not so little, but kind of little, um, outside of Nashville. And the idea was something that kids could go to, um, something that they could be a part of, and um, a peaceful uh, protest with people wearing masks. And um, we have two pictures from it. I want to do a shout out to these moms. They really felt it was important. We were really, really touched that our police chief, was it the chief? Mm -hmm. He was. Uh, from Mount Juliet came and talked to the kids. Um, some cops handed out some popsicles. Um, we had a really great dialogue. There was a minister there from a local church that did a moment of silence. Um, it was a really coming together moment of our community and it was much needed and um, it was a safe space because a lot of people are still not sure about going on, out during the virus and being with a lot of people. So I want to give a shout out to those moms for what they did. Patty and Rachel, you did it. You made it happen. I know that a lot of these are happening in towns all over the place. Yeah, you can show a picture if you have them. That was, there were hundreds of people um, today, which is a pretty good showing for something that they just put together, I think, 48 hours ago. Um, and Skylar and I held some signs, Daddy marched, and it was, it was great. And I'm super glad that you could be there with me today. Um, all right, so, hey guys, thanks for, hey Kim, it's so good to see you. Oh, we missed you guys, but we'll see you soon for sure. Um, and Darren, woo, we give lots of shouts out to Betty Luce here. And uh, Steve is on, so nice to see you. Hi, Rochelle. I know, I didn't give you any heads up that we were doing this today. I promise that will not be the case. Now, guests. Skylar always asks, is there someone calling? Do we have a guest? Right? People, people tuning in for the first time are like, why is there an enormous television behind her? Just to say Randy's life. We usually FaceTime or Zoom with some guests, and we have amazing guests lined up. I'll tell you a little bit about who we have coming on. We have some television personalities that happen to be friends that are doing really great work. Um, and changing the world. We've got some musicians I know, former San Diego musicians now living in San Francisco who do incredible music. We have a friend of mine who's very um, uh, in, important in the um, anti-gun violence world and who's doing a documentary, and so he'll be on. Um, a lot of people just doing wonderful things. Um, singers, songwriters. We have a friend of mine who is a performer and has toured with Cirque du Soleil for many years, and he's going to be a very special guest coming up. What? I know, I'm dangling all the carrots. But this is all to say that Randy's Live, the way that you knew it, will come back and it will look just like it did. And so I'll make sure that I send you out those posters and that information and I tell you um, when we're doing our show so that you know when we're going to have guests and so that you can check in and watch our episodes. But um, in the space that we're in right now, a lot of people are out protesting, marching, and um, a lot of people are getting back to sort of opening their businesses. So there's a lot of change and a lot of movement happening. And so um, for us, we're just going to give a little more um, time and space before we come back.
in full. Is that okay with my crew? I have to check in with my um, sponsors and I have to check in with my, um, yeah. It's all good over here. Producers, yeah, yep. that's it. It's just, it's really three of us so we can do what we want. Okay, so I'm just gonna play one song for you tonight. Um, this is a brand new tune. I've been thinking a lot about what's been going on. I know a lot of artists have. I saw my friend Tolan uh, released a beautiful song today. I, I see a lot of my, my friends in New York are doing um, some wonderful things with their their online Facebook shows. They're um, doing their normal shows, but they're also raising awareness and, and giving to different charities that they support, um, which is, you know, musicians have the voice to do that and to gather people in a safe space. And so um, I it's so funny because I told myself, you know, Randy, there's a lot happening in the world and you don't have to always sit down and, you know, write a kumbaya song. But apparently I always do have to sit down and write a kumbaya song. And it could be because I have a little girl and it could be because um, in my heart of heart of hearts, um, I believe in uh, the goodness of people and I believe in what we can do if we come together and are better. Um, so it's always going to be that song. It's always going to be just another version of that song about um, humanity and my love of people and how, uh, well, what good we do when we do it as one. So there you go. Here's the song.